Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. I'm your host, that's Madam Hellfire, and we are back, back, back again for some more horror goodness on our horror Halls of Horror Weekend show. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm still kind of waking up, but I have a lot of stuff that needs to be done today, so I don't get to wake up completely like I normally do before the stream. So I apologize if I seem sleepy or I fuck up my words pretty easy. <laughs> Brain is not computing. Also adjusting to having decaf coffee in the morning instead of caffeinated coffee because caffeine destroys my system. Yay. That's fantastic. Mm. Anyways, before I get into it, I say hello to everybody. We've got Squatchin, Octane Junkie, Devil Pup, and somebody new. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before, Elder Redacted, but welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to have some fun today. Um, updates on stuff that's going on. Um, the new video for Pokemon Infinite Fusion should be going up on the secondary channel in the next like half hour or so. Um, so if you're into that stuff, go ahead and go take a look at that after the stream. Um, I did get the Cafe and Dino Archives video, the weekly video up. Uh, should be live for everybody tomorrow. It's up for patrons to, and channel members today. Um, I'm also almost done with the Cryptid Iceberg 5 video, which should be done pretty within the next couple of days. Probably done end of today if I have enough time and I'm not tired after the Buffy stuff. Um, and by Buffy stuff, I mean Buffy reactions. Good morning, Aqua Gulp. Um, we're probably going to be watching a couple episodes of that in the Discord. If you're interested in being a part of that, please feel free to join the Discord. I've pinned the link for that in the pinned comment. Um, it's a fun time. I've had a great, great time hanging out with everybody, just reacting to episodes of Season 1 of Buffy. It's so much fun to get people's take on this, especially those who have never seen the series before. I have a good time. Uh, just be aware, I do record those. So if you do not want to be recorded, don't hop into them. Um, the point of that is to just have some clips um, for those that are involved to be part of the video when I do put together the season one review video, which probably won't be for a few months because we still got a lot to go through and I still have a lot of research to do and it's going to take forever. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the Discord. Join the Discord if you're not already, and let me know there once you've joined. But today, we are going to go over the Walton Files. This is what you guys voted for when I put up the poll last. Uh, we're going to have a couple streams on this, purely because some of these videos are like 32 minutes to an hour long. Um, we're going to go through the first four videos um, that are on in the uh, correct order playlist that I have set up. It's probably going to be about three streams since one of these videos is like an hour long and the rest are pretty quick to go through. We'll never seen these files today. Lol. Um, but once we finish that up, I probably will circle back and finish up um, or at least what is available now for the Garylock tapes. Um, I'm probably going to do that by myself because I don't know what Chaos Schedules looks like and because things are so hectic on my end, I don't want to commit to something and then have to cancel. But before we do any of that, well, without further ado, we've, we've, we've talked enough, I've chatted enough, you've waited enough, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get right into the good stuff, the meat and potatoes. You've never seen these files before, I mean. Well, it's a, it's interesting. It's another one of those um, spin off, kind of not spin offs. I would say it's similar to the FNAF stuff. It's all anima like animatronics that are haunted or issues with animatronics and kids things, which I think is interesting either way if you do it right. You think you've seen this before, Aqua Gulp. Well, we're, if you haven't, you're going to see it. If you've already seen it, you're going to get reacquainted because we're watching it again today. So, this is the first one. Um, it says, Walton Files Company Introductions Tape. 
It's a re-upload because uh, of copyright issues that were resolved. This is a compilation of tapes created by the already extinct Bunny Smiles Company. I tried to get as much info as I could about what these tapes are. All I, all I could find was that these tapes were handed to new employees back in 1974 to 1979. The rest of the tapes seem to be recorded by a few facility caretaker a new facility caretaker in the year 1982 hopefully i can find more tapes anthony Alrighty, we have some sort of idea of what we're getting into i already hate it this is kind of creepy to me it's a little bit creeps mcgeeps um but that's the whole point oh i remember now i saw an expo video on this and saw them myself was a while ago though. Yeah, I've seen the next one video and I've seen multiple other videos on this particular series, but I haven't watched it myself. Um, a lot of these I have seen videos on, but I'm not super duper aware of the actual content itself. I, I haven't witnessed it myself. It's always different seeing somebody's perspective on it than s experiencing it yourself. So it's already creepy. Yes, it is. Bonds Burgers. Cyber Fun Tech. Bunny Smells Incorporated Restaurant in 1974. So yeah, this is back in 1974. So pretty much in the same vein or actually earlier than the Five Nights at Freddy's kind of thing. Bunny looks high as hell, not gonna lie. Yeah, he kind of does. He's got that creepy, creepy vibe that, um... I've got some popsicles that... I've got some popsicles in my basement. Get your fat ass over here. That's what the vibes I get. Hi. Bunny Smells Incorporated Technical Support. Cute, cute, but it's not cute. It's very not cute. I always gotta love it when people hide really creepy shit underneath cute little, uh... Guises. And welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bond's Burgers. I kind of love the fact that it's like almost Bob's Burgers, but it's not. Ooh, and I love when they do this kind of stuff. When it looks real, but it's not, you know that it's very much generated. This place doesn't exist. Always good to have the immersion. Don't, I don't miss them either. I don't miss them at all. Hip hooray, hip hooray. The fuck? I hate the pre-AI computer generated voice. Yeah, but at least it's, you know... I guess it's more, uh, how do I want to call it, endearing. It's less annoying to me than the AI-generated shit. I don't know. That's just my take, I guess. But that's fucking creepy. That style is fucking creepy as hell. Yeah, that's totally not fucking nightmare fuel. That's totally not nightmare fuel, guys. Just, nope, nope. That's adorable and quirky, and I love every bit of it. Mm-hmm. 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 Better than the t damn TikTok AI voice. Yeah, I agree. I hate every bit of this. I also feel really weird because this reminds me of, like, Toy Story 2 music. The kids will love it. Yeah, no. Absolutely fucking not. This is creepy as hell. It, it, the, the music is reminding me of Toy Story 2. I'm, I'm having flashbacks of Toy Story 2 music, which is very um, confusing for me. I'm not, I'm not ex- I'm, I'm not excited for these little barks. I'm really not. In the window, the the How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. 
I hate every bit of this. It's bothering me. It is uncanny valley, kind of. The animatronics at Disneyland creeped me out for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, yeah. They definitely... Animatronics in general can be very creepy because they're supposed to be kind of lifelike, but they're not. And it, it, it just makes you feel really weird. Not the good kind of weird. Oh, oh. I hate him so much. Bon is fucking creepy. Bon is is absolutely nightmare fuel. Like, how how would you think the kids would like that? I would be shitting my pants as a kid. I would be shitting my pants and crying and running away. I'm waiting for the jump scares. I hate that sound. That squeeing sound. Is... That's some pig man shit. Misa no likey. These are the showstoppers. Bon, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny, a computer animated band made by BSI to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. I'm sorry, I have to go back to that that face. Where is it? Where is it? That the face on the card is so fucking funny to me. Oh, Thort. A oh, Thort. Deer in the headlights. Hello, my name is you. And I was I work as facility caretaker. <clears throat> That's what it reads to me. Facility Gotta caretaker. Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, robot maintenance and repair, and learning how to use BSI. Why did the robot maintenance and repair sound different? Why did you have to change the voice for that? I don't like it. That bothers me. I wonder if it's because there's something wrong with the animatronics. Hmm. Technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. Which reads, in DSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money. That is absolutely not an actual photo. You can totally tell that's so fucky, it's not even funny. Machines are already taken over. Yep. Money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. No, I think the most important thing to you is making money. The Derby Bunny is selling it for me. A plushie of it would sell. I'm calling out. Uh, Derpy. Uh, they've, they've made plushes of it. There's definitely been plushes of these characters, yeah. I'm pretty sure the Derby Bunny is gonna, like, already has already had a plush made of it. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving uh, this dream with you. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. So, it's changed to a different video now. Storage facility K9, property of Cyber Something Tech. Cyber Bun Tech, 1975. Save, restore, secure. BSI Storage Facility, also known as K9, is a company project that's stor to storage. To store all valuable items from the closed for good Bonds Burgers restaurant. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Given the situations about the incidents inside the 1974 Bonds Burgers location, any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside the bunker location. The bunker located deep down in St. Juana's Forest for good. The facility care caretaker will take care of securing the facility and keeping it safe and working properly. Why is their mascot a bunny afflicted with... I, I don't know. I do not know. They're just derpalorp, I guess. But that's ominous that there's a... Situations about the incident inside the 1974 Bob's Burgers location. I wonder what happened. Maybe it was the bite of 87. Yep, clipping out. Something's weird. Something's not right. 
We all know how that is. Uh, is the computer speaking to me in tongues? Are you trying to summon some sort of, like, ancient demonic beast? Hey, what's up, JJJ? Uh, his syndrome may be down, but his KD ratio is up. Nice. I would play that backwards. I don't know if you can play it backwards right now. Probably is backwards. I still don't want to summon a fucking demon. Probably gonna seven Satan. Oh wait, that's me. Never mind. Sunlight Animation presents The Death of All Children by Bon Bon Animatronics. Bon's Burgers. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm half asleep still. A Bunny Smells Incorporated cartoon. Oh boy, I wonder what's in the cartoon. Little Bond's Neighborhood. So, 19, so. All right, let's start adding things together. Let's start setting up the timeline. I mean, they want to eat the children, I'm assuming. I'm assuming the kid died. That's how all these animatronic, animatronic things go, right? I can do voiceovers? No, I'm not that good. I'm not that good at it. Uh, so... The Bonds Burgers opens up in 1974. There's an incident that happens in between 1974 and 1975, and it's closed down. I did say that. I did say it as a joke. I don't mean it as- I don't mean it literally. She doesn't know. Uh, no. I'm not good enough for voiceovers. That's Carl's thing. I just- I fuck around and feel like changing my voice when I'm messing around and trying to be funny. And it doesn't always work. Oh! Meant on tape, not your voice. Uh... I don't, I don't know if I caught that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think there has been any. There hasn't been any voices yet. I'm I'm not sure what. That was her. That was me saying it. I, I was I was talking. That 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 was me, Octane. You you can now you've confused me because you're confused. <laughs> My half asleep brain cannot keep up with this. I can't tell if you're trolling me, Octane. It hurts. It hurts me. You're hurting me. Ouch. Now I've lost my train of thought. I was trying to put things together. Anyways, let's, let me try and do this again. Okay, so. 1974, they opened Bonds Burgers. There's something that happens in between 1974 and 1975. Where something bad happens. I'm assuming it has to do with a kid dying because of the animatronics. Or a, a staff worker dying because of the animatronics. That's how it always goes. Um, and then there's a cartoon that comes out in 1979, or is this something that somebody else made? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to put things together in my brain, timeline-wise. In my brain palace. Bon Super Sleepover. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Aw, it's the Derpy! He's the derp a derp. I like this little derpy fucker. He's cute. I want to keep him. Little Bon has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is planning to have a sleepover with them. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. For this Turn left at the stop sign. Sleepover, he invited. Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's- Who the fuck is Bi- why are you inviting Pennywise the fucking clown to your birthday party? Why? Fucking why? I don't want... Don't look at the light, guys. Don't look at the light. Check again in case we don't forget any guests. One invited Shah, Bozu, and... 
That's not Pennywise. That's not Billy. That's not Pennywise. That looks like, um, one of the founders. That that guy down there on the left. Not gonna go back, but yeah, it looks like that. He's also dead behind the eyes, just like me. We all float down here, guys. I wonder if the number 27 oh, has that significance. Must be them. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Bond spent all his money on a really funny oh, movie, movie night. which he has. <laughs> back again. That ain't Billy, y'all. That ain't Billy. I don't know what that says either. But I'm pretty sure one of the uh, owners does a bad and and it results in the bad things that happen and the thing that shut down Bond's burgers and the thing and then the other thing and then the, the thingy thing. Looks like a brick with his face on it. I don't like you, Pennywise. I don't like you, Pennywise. I don't like you, Pennywise. I'm not afraid of you! I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. Whoa, what did that say? What did that say? Go back. Go the fuck back. What did that say? Let me out of here. That says Sophie. That's a 1978 TV. Yes, he does. He pops up like a demon that gets kids to kill their families in these, those movies. Yes, yes, he does. Yeah, that's ominous. Don't Let me out of here. Something's gonna be wrong here. I mean, the founder guy. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Something's gonna happen. I'm waiting for it. Where's the jump scare? Here's this, the creepy peepee. -pee. Sleep paralysis demon time. Jack Walton, founder of the of uh, Bond's Burgers, and he's missing apparently. Okay, I'm back. Powered flickered off for a minute. What I miss? Uh, creepy things. Always the creepy things. That's what that's what we do here, Aqua. That's what we do. <laughs> That's not creepy whatsoever. It's me watching this. It's me watching this right now. Derp. A derp, a derp. A lighter. Pick it up. What's behind you? <laughs> so you, that's you, the worker. Do you think my face is pretty? Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, um Do y'all do y'all do y'all like that? Uh no, I think it is supposed to be a metaphorical like I don't think it's a training video necessarily. It's probably another tape that was made to kinda of tell you, oh, these animatronics are fucked probably what it is if I were to to uh try and guess all right we're ha halfway done with this one we got to get it done that's definitely not an employee trainee video so somebody is traveling into the forest where this bunker is at 
I'm assuming. Someone hijacked the footage! We've been shenanigand! Shenanananananananigand! Oh, Shanghai. I admit it is shenanigans. I told you, I'm half asleep. I don't have any caffeine in my system. I'm, I can't read. I can't English. I can't anything. So, this is the brand new... All we need is the GPS to start talking to him. In a weird way. Or putting him in a different direction that he's supposed to go. And then, yeah. Well, we'll have, I'll have all the fun. I'm assuming this is an Andrew, though. Caretaker for the old Bonnie Smiles facility. I'm, uh, recording this because the company requires some type of archives for the work history, something like that. I honestly have no clue, because I started working here. I don't know, actually, if I'm going there right now. But, <coughs> but they gave me this. Looks like somebody's got a bit of a heckin' coof. Somewhere in a forest, I think, to work at. And I've been driving for 20 minutes, and I can't find the place. I made it to the location. I'm not surprised you can't find the place. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Franchise is possessed. Apparently, it's not just a Wendy's. No, it's not family friendly at all. It's definitely not a Wendy's, sir. In a quarter mile, take a right turn. No can do, hell, Not that depressed, actually. Really, Robin? I saw Bicentennial Man. Oh, shit. That is depressing. This has gotta be it. Anyway, so... Chris told me this place... Well, you found it. About 78, 79, somewhere I'm in. And that was four years ago, I think. So, chances are, it's gonna smell horrendous. It is a good movie. It's just depressing as shit. And this is creepy as shit. And I always am curious. How the fuck do these people make these kind of videos? How, how do you... Is it Blender? Like, what are you using to make these assets? I've, obviously, he was driving in the actual woods. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. Sometimes these people are really good at using Blender, and it, it, it fucks with me. I'm just curious how they make these things. I'm sorry, I had I have to do it every time I hear that. Every time I have to. I, I'm just a nerd. I'm not sorry about it. I'm not sorry whatsoever. Also, those pictures remind me of that very, very creepy as fuck Nickelodeon show. I don't remember what it's called, but it was like really big heads. It had a weird drawing style. I don't remember what it was called. Main character always wore a dress. Female. Had like freckles and shit. Uh, I don't know. Had bangs and a short haircut I don't I don't I don't remember what it was called I'm trying to describe it as best I can Franny let me let me verify that I think it is Franny Franny Nickelodeon Nickelodeon show uh, no Uh, it's not coming up when I search it. Uh, well, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, at least. Except for Octane, because Octane is, is the boomer in the chat. Francine or Frankie. Scene. Nick. Elodian. Hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. I, I, well, Francine. I, I looked it up, but I didn't see anything. But that might be the name of the character. I just don't remember the name of the show. But you know what I'm talking about. Back to the creepy PB. Oh, hi. Um. 
No, it's not. It's yeah, it's not Foster's Home for Menagerie Friends. Good show though, equally good show. But that's a uh, Cartoon Network, not Nick Nickelodeon. I'm pretty sure the one I'm talking about is Nickelodeon. But uh, somebody's either kept you in disrepair or somebody's got really gross jizz and a really weird fetish for creepy as shit animatronics. Oh, you have kids. That's true. I'm going to err on the side of it being disrepair. I'm going to be cautious and say that isn't somebody's weird dried up um, drippings. I can barely understand what this dude is saying. Can I? Can I? And then there's no. No, there's no. Cole's ca oh, he's moving. Oh, no, he's moving. Oh, no, he's chattering a seat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Some freak make a female dirt bunny. No, this is this is a that this is a dude. This is Bon. Even in disrepair, Bon has been eating good. Yeah, it seems like it. He's chattering his teeth and moving his head. He, he's very much uh, alive and aware, and he wants to eat whoever this person is, and I don't feel bad for them. They're gonna die. Uh-oh. Hi Bon. Hi Bon. How 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 are you? <laughs> I'm good. Just don't kill me. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna. Oh crap! He's gonna kill me. What? Kidding. Oh no, he's looking. Did he poop from his eyelids? It looked like he pooped from his eyes. That is really fucking weird. Why? Why? Maybe he's just dripping. I don't know. But this guy's running away. Run, fucker, run. I don't know, but it's gonna get you. It's looking at you. It's looking at you. Hello there. Yeah, that's that's totally not That's totally not scary and nightmare fuel at all. I'm 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 totally fine. I'm not gonna have nightmares about this later tonight. Nope, nope, not at all. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh hi. The shit? Are we playing Dragon Dogma character creator? Are we in a character creation menu for Dragon's Dogma? It looks really weird. I don't know what's happening. The fuck? Aw oh, man, he's all covered in tomato sauce. Kick his fake teeth in. What the? Weird. Oh, um, hello. Who the fuck are you? And why are you all jacked up? Um, no like. Very creep. No like. Facial record, maybe, probably. I can't feel anything. Well, I, I don't think you would if your face was all fucked up like that. You probably have, um, are in the throes of death and you probably aren't gonna be feeling anything anytime soon. He thought I was her. Interesting. Welcome, Natalie Husky. No problem. Yeah, all of us have other things that we need to take care of, real life stuff. I'm just glad you're able to pop in and say hello. That's what matters to me.
Ah. Uh, Brian Stella. Or Stells. Facility caretaker. So this was the derpy bunny that we were seeing. And uh, he's now fucking dead. He's fucking died. Man, you've got so many different faces and you're really fucking creeping me out and I'm not sure that I like it. I'm really uncomfortable. Can you not? Can you not look at me like that, please? He has no style. He has no grace. Brian Snells now has no face. Yep. Yeah, it's gone. He did. He fucking did. Guy's missing. Rewind. Okay. What are we rewinding to? Yep, that's the first video. Alright, so we've got three more. Another one is number two, or Walton Files 2 is um, 18 minutes long, and then the next ones after that are pretty short. So why don't we get right into that? It says tape two. This is another compilation of tapes from Bunny Smiles Incorporated. I was able able to contact in people via forums and threads that have some information on the company. These tapes revolve around some relocation project that has been executed during the 1970s, 1978. Also, hello, Spectre. Thank you. Thank you for being a member for a lovely 14 months. Appreciate it. 1978, a BSIX employee mentioned that these tapes were really private and only a few people had a copy of them once the company vanished during the early 1980s. 1983 specifically, all tapes regarding the project were banned and destroyed. These are super rare and I'm really lucky to have them. Also, to me, or as to me, I'm doing fine. Just staying home, hoping COVID doesn't fuck me over. Take care, Anthony. I'm assuming this is the, um, person that owns the channel, but we'll see. It's also derp rabbit time again. Do 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 derpy derp rabbit time again. Blah blah. Relocate project. A relocation project. Probably more specifically. Bunny smile link. A company by Cyberfuntech, 1970, probably somewhere between three and, f and eight. I don't know. Derp Rabbit has a hammer. He gonna get us. Derpy got a hammer. Derpy got a hammer. That doesn't really work, but I tried. I tried. <laughs> Bunny Smiles Incorporated, 1978. So it's still going even after all that stuff is uh, locked up from Bond's Burgers. Wonder what that means. Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bond's Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bond's Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Hold on, that said stuff. That said stuff. Uh, Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers, 6, 28, 1974. Jack Walken, blah, blah. Sorge, K9, 75, blah, blah. It says Felix, so, or something like that. Blah, blah. Relocate is after that sometime in 1975. So there is an incident between June, end of June, 1974, and like beginning of, it looks like February, beginning like end of February, 1975, and they relocate everything. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. In 1974, ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the relocation. So that's the other guy. I think the other owner. We have the one that's been that's missing, and then we have this guy. Hmm. Project. Curious. 
But before we go into details, we want to oh, hi. all the new... He's, he's definitely... They, they're, they're not trying to hide him being creepy and fucked up. And, yeah. They are absolutely not trying to hide that he is all kinds of jacked up and gross and everybody's afraid of you. Oh, my God. Bunny Smiles employee. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Later on, a good not amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies. We even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant... Yeah, that's Felix. That's the other guy. I wonder if he has something to do with his uh, co-founder going missing, guys. I, I, I wonder. ...idea of restore and reprogram the robots... Oh, I know we will, JJJ. ...with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bonds Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's was get it, it though? Up Felix Crank was it really a brilliant idea if you had a problem the first time? Because I'm not so sure that that's the case. And yeah, I'm aware that we are going to learn more about Felix later. Uh, probably in the next couple of videos. Because we do still have two more after this. And then we'll probably do the really long one, uh, number three in its own stream because it's an hour long and that's gonna take forever to react to like forever forever to react to because you know we want to be within fair use yes yes a man with not only a giant brain but also a giant heart huh we all know that it has something he has something to do with this guy going missing and why are you looking at me like that with that derpy ass smile get the fuck away from me with your derpy ass smile Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I hate that. I hate it so much. Uh, reprogramming phase, facial expressions. So that might have something to do with that weird, like, face movement thingy that we had to see in the last video. It might have something to do with that. Quite possibly. Well, Danny. So this is the purple bunny. Uh, same in all other models. So it was created in 1974, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mouth. Mouth is a pre-relocate, a pre-relocate feature. However, it still requires checking since reprogramming could have affected this feature. Uh, okay. Blink. Feature is brand new, relocate project exclusive. Employees must always clean the eye socket. A dirty eye could affect the blink feature. Uh, okay. I can blink my eyes. Something's gonna go wrong here. I just know it. Annoyed bored. I feel you. That is one long eye roll. Surprise. Owner is the one possessing the rabbit, which is why it's his derpy smile. Same as the owner. Yeah, probably. I oh I'm I'm watching them in order. Somebody went through the time and effort to put everything in order, JJJ. Um, I have the playlist in the description for the stream. So I went and did some digging and found a person who put everything in order. So we are watching it in order. I'm just not watching them all on the same stream. What I mean by on a solo stream is that I'm going to finish the first four videos that are on, on this playlist. And then the next stream I do, which should probably be next weekend, is going to have that um, singular hour-long video, which is video number three. They are in numerical order. I'm just I'm just clarifying because I don't think you understood me. Yeah, I, I don't I'm I don't do very long streams like Carl does. I do like two hours, maybe three hours max if I really need to finish something because you know I have I have things that need to be done around the house. 
So yeah, no, I, I'm not gonna watch all of it unless a, a certain like series is really short videos and very short. I don't complete them in one stream. So you'll you'll notice that a lot of the things that I do are multiple streams on one topic, purely because I I'm not just looking at it. I want to react to it. I want to see what chat thinks about it. Get through everything in like a manner that is fair use friendly, which is why we spent like almost 40 minutes just going through one and a half videos. Looking for friends. Aha, uh -huh, you mean victims. You're going for victims. You want to eat everybody. Not gonna be fun for me. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, audio's cut out. Not good. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's gonna be bad. Her eyes are gonna stop looking at... Oh! I think she found a friend. Uh, that's... Creepy as shit. That's not unsettling whatsoever, guys. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not unsettled in, in the slightest. This isn't scary as fuck. I'm not shivering in my timbers. Um, consume the flesh. Indeed. Indeed, JJJ. Holy shit. I should just call you Triple J. That'll be fun. I'll just do that. Call you Triple J. Yeah. Oh, looking for friends again. Oh, it's back. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so fucking much. Why is that so creepy? Why is that gotta be so fucking creepy, bro? Sees another friend. Possessed by the founder who be a derpy looking freakazoid. Triple H and now we got Triple J. Yep. You're not Double J, you're Triple J. <laughs> Oh, hi. Whoa, 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 go back. I want to see that one for... Oh, yeah, that, that, it, yeah. Whoever that is, they are very happy to see us, and, um, I don't, I don't like it at all. That's fucking creepy. Fucking stop. Fucking stop. The mighty rabbit tries to find a way out of the cage, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way... So, I'm going to assume, if I remember some of the videos on this correctly, um... These animatronics, like the FNAF characters, are running around this bunker trying to find a way out. And this is supposed to be showing that. So we've got Purple Bunny, Shiny Bon, running around trying to find this stuff. Hello, OBL. Willkommen. We are watching this creepy stuff. And we are watching a very creepy rabbit try to escape its cage to go kill some humans. Let's be honest, that's what they all are doing. They're all trying to escape their cage to go kill some things. And nobody likes that. Way out, the rat needs to catch the owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. Probably in six minutes I have to go and clean and help my parents. Okay, that's fine. It does look a lot like FNAF. It's very much like FNAF. And since Brian opened the vault door, Bond is out in the forest. Indeed. Oh, wait. Looks like a little... They found something. Maybe it's a hash brown from McDonald's, because that's what it looks like to me. Or no, that was just the face. Turned in a really odd way. Ah, uh, my bad. My bad. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit, the rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit Just eat is flesh. Starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit must eat flesh. Must eat flesh. Must eat. Feed me more. Feed me Seymour. Feed me. 
food me. Oh god. Bunny be hungry. The rabbit is starving. And now we see a whole shit ton of rabbits. Probably just got through fucking fucking fucking. Because we know how rabbits breed. Continuously and excessively. He could be in this very room. He could be with you. He could be me. He could even be plague carriers, all of them. Yep. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Bonnie, shiny Bonnie. You gonna eat me? I think she's gonna eat me. I'm not excited for this. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Hello, um, how are you, shiny bunny? I know that's not the name, but I'm, I'm just saying that anyways, because it's funny to me. H how are you, shiny bunny? Um, are you going to eat my flesh? At least put me in another animatronic so I uh, live forever. That would be nice. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> Totally not a sleep paralysis even. Bunny in the cage. Missing Susan something. Well, gone missing in June 30th, 1974. Not too long after the uh, opening of Bond's Burgers. Great, you're totally not creepy as shit. That's the inside of them, I'm guessing. Hola, mahalo, bonjour. Oh, Bunny Farm game. I know that we are going to see a lot of stuff that has to do with that game, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, it's me when I watch videos. I want to watch my movies, my horror movies. That's pretty cool. Endoskeleton, indeed. Bunny Smiles Incorporated Techno Sport 1978. A lot of jumping around. Welcome to technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile storage facility. I mean, a lot of these are geared towards kids. Well, in the universe, these companies are geared towards kids, and therefore they got to make things kind of cute to kind of disguise the fact that everything that is fucking behind it is horrendously evil and horribly terrifying. He's judging you, Aqua. Triple J is judging you. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Ew. Bunny Smiles uniform. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always, under any circumstance, use your BSI ID card. Yep. Ryan, have all the you did. Equipment at hand. We are ready so far, the sheep is less creepy. Well, yeah, this is less creepy. Hello. Hello, Bon. I see you made it to the storage facility. Hello. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. I can tell. Don't worry, John. I'm not like that. But let- Furry! We smell a furry! Let's stop and think. Do you have I'm all the kidding. necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will re- <laughs> this is some Dora the Explorer type shit, like... Backpack, backpack. I'm the pack that's loaded up with things and knickknacks too. Blech. I'm not gonna finish that so I don't get fucking struck. Require for your job at K9. Lantern. Flashlight. Check. Love you, mom. Snick. Check. Key. Key. Check. Camera. Camera. Check. Check. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. Fuck are you looking at me like that, though? It's like staring into our souls, guys. Staring directly into our souls. Oh, hi. Hello. What are you- What is that, a bag of holding? 
Is that an endless D and D bag of holding? Ball gags. Octane. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. He's the sack lunch. He oh, so you're saying the sack lunch is the bag of holding. Got it. Got it. For those of you who are not D&D oriented, a bag of holding is basically like a black hole or like a pocket dimension in a bag. If you want to go by D&D standards, the joke is it's you, you can put like infinite things in the bag and just pull it out. You got snackables? Dude, give me some of them snackables. Give me a lunchable, man. Give me that good shit. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the- No. I don't want to turn on the lights, because I know the paralysis demon's gonna come out. Let's not- Oh, wait, no, they're gonna turn the lights on. I don't like it. I don't like that it's gonna turn on the lights, but it's gonna. And we're gonna see something creepy, and it's gonna haunt my nightmares for the rest of the day. And I'm not going to enjoy it, and that's just how it's going to be. And, ah, uh, the light, the promise of safety. It's a lie. The promise is a lie. The light. Turn on the light. Turn on the... I thought I was going to be like, turn on the fucking light! Hi, GB. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room, and this room- If you start singing Dance Magic Dance while you're telling me about this, I swear to god I'm gonna lose my mind. It's telling us this, is, this place is a labyrinth and you have to write down where you're going or else you're gonna get lost. It's gonna start singing Dance Magic Dance. You can sit down- No dip, sheep luck. With you name Indeed. It. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Yeah. I mean, sure. Looks pretty clean to me. Except for the grime on the walls and the floor and the boxes and everything. You remind me of the lamb. What lamb? That was the only good song in that horrible movie. Hey, 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 hey. That movie was awesome. I love Labyrinth. You take that back, Octane. You take that back. The darkness holds more than tri mere trickery and boogeyman. All right, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. Why does that look like coroner office shit? No labyrinth shading in this house. Exactly. Labyrinth is amazing. That's a fucking classic. These are storage areas. The first oh, door is used okay. to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available. Mmm. Mmm. In a Bond's Burgers restaurant. The third door is used Never to seen it. Oh, 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 that, 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 that turned bad very quickly. Didn't see that coming. Maybe I'll do a, another movie night where we watch it at some point. That would be great. Babe could cry. Do, 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 do. Okay, what's next? So there's a stage. Okay, so again, that's something you need to play backwards. Do it. Please do it. I'll try and figure it out if I have time. I know next weekend is going to be, like, jam-packed. Or is, is it next week or is it the weekend after next? The weekend after next. Next weekend, is, I can, I, I, I'll, I'm pretty open, but WrestleMania weekend is in two weeks, and I, you're not going to see I had no fucking hair on me during the night. It's backwards, it's summoning demons. It's summoning Satan. It's summoning me! Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Oh, it, you're just gonna fucking abracadabra yourself out of the room. Great, Sheepy. Now we know you definitely summon fucking demons, because we need to start... Burning you at the stake. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. This trickery will not go 
unpunished. So that's you. That's the actual you. Pick up, brat. Pick up, brat. No, or Bart. Unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. Hocus pocus, you've lost your focus. I always lose my focus. That's what happens when you have ADHD. Or what I love to call Oosquirrel Syndrome. Based. I'm going to give the people what they want. Sensation, oh, horror, shock. Send them Thank out you for the, the subby. To tell their friends how wonderful it is to be scared to death. Much, much appreciated. Gotta listen to Vincent Price when he talks. Good shit. Okay, we're back in there. What the fuck is that down there? Focus, focus, there's pizza on your focus, indeed. Uh, pizza actually sounds really good, but I'm gonna have more leftover enchiladas instead tonight. Oh, she cry. Why you cry, sheepy? Why you cry? Sheepy say yep. But there's something down there, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's not, that's not creepy at all. That's, th none of that is, is, is fucking creepy, no. No, no, not, no, no, not creepy at all. Oh, no, so someone's inside of that lamb. It's a female. Not sure who just yet. Somebody's inside the lamby cakes. Sheepish is crying because he's in the bad touch room. Touch the no no square. Oh, so this is Walton's wife, probably. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 hello. Um, he's got human fucking teeth, guys. What the fuck? He's got human teeth. I hate it. Rose broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You You're broken. We will fix you. You'll be you beautiful. Will beautiful. You will be beautiful. She definitely broken as fuck. I'm gonna pick her up and put her right in Sheepy. And Sheepy now has us. Employees only. Oh no. Oh no. So I'm gonna assume Walton's in you. That's your wife that you've just put in Sheepy Cakes. When she yeah. woke up, she looked beautiful. Yep, she's inside and possessing the big sheepy. Oh, that is scary. At least she thinks she's beautiful, right? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh. Yep, it's his wife gone missing. Following footage was recorded during July 1978, somewhere between the 12th and the 14th, on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days in the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogramming the animatronics in order to execute the relocation project. And I'm sure they're all dead now. Uh, so these are the three people. Hold on, pause. Someone being stupid. Alright, cool. 
<sighs> Hello, Fox. Where Fox? We have a timeline that is easy to follow for this. We do, but I'm I haven't watched it all the way through. Okay, have a good one, Natalie. Uh, I haven't watched it all the way through, so I'm kind of putting it together as I go. And it's been a while since I've watched any videos on this. Employees left to right are Hillary B, Ashley P, and Kevin W. Next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bonds Burgers animatronics. All right. This will be interesting. Oh no, but um, the place itself was open during a short period of time. This has to be done in Blender, because you can kind of tell with how it's put together. It's not 100% lifelike. It's probably more than likely put together in Blender. If I were to guess from how it looks. And which, um, fair number of cases occurred around the area. Huh. Yeah. And there were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during the midnight. Like... So music is playing during the evening while this is all going on. I'm gonna turn this up while we it. So I can hear what's going on because it's very low. Two or three in the morning. Along with the lights on. Which was weird. Back then, the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. I have not done Vita Carnis, but I do have it on my list um, of stuff to do. I've got like a whole bunch of stuff that I've got sitting in my backlog. I've got um, the other stuff from um, Alex Kister, even though I'm well aware of the crap that has been going on around him. I have some backlog from Monument Mythos, uh, Chainmail Chasers, White Door Open, Speed Paints. Uh, that are interesting. I've got Vita Carnis, I've got Luminal Land, Genesis, uh, Ap Apocryphon, Angel Hair, Godzilla, Suit Incident, Louise is Missing, Midwest Angelica, and then a bunch of other stuff. I have like a backlog upon backlog of shit that I want to go over. But again, we I, I look at the ones that I have in the backlog, I put up a poll once we are getting close to being done with a series, and then y'all pick what you want to watch next. This time you wanted to watch Walton Files, so that's what we're doing. I am here. But yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, the police closed after people reported hearing the screams of the adult woman inside of the restaurant. Jeez. Yikes. So yeah, yeah. Some hours after that, the case was reported, the restaurant decided to close its doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like, the entertainers were completely absent and the currents were closed. Well, that's odd. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's a lot of rumors that have very bad implications. Hmm. Fuck. Uh, this forest reminds me of that movie. The, uh, it's like this chainsaw man. I think you change these pieces with the new one. Don't you think I should take uh, time? I mean, was her mouth moving? Like yeah, it is. Why, why is the mouth moving? I don't like that. I don't like that. Context, we can change anything as basically a robotic Iron Maiden that's supposed to fix people, but just turns them into red mist and paste. Yeah. 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 That's, it's a bad implication, and nobody really likes it because nobody wants to be turned into pace. With the new one. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? I mean, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, but we, Yes, but... It's weird how it this seems to be moving with what how she's talking. 
Huh. I wonder if it's trying to mimic them. It is very creepy. I didn't notice that until I started, like, actually paying attention to, like, the way the mouth is moving. It's as if it's trying to mimic whichever girl is talking, because I think there's two girls here. Oh, he... Oh, one of his eyes is out, too. Yikes. He's in very bad disrepair. And why... I find it kind of interesting and in some of these clips. He's standing up, and now he's, like, sitting down. I guess he got tired? Or bored? Or he's just trying to wait for his next meal? I don't know. Interesting. One, Creepy, really but interesting. It's do it again, where it's moving when, when people are talking. It wasn't moving at first, and then it started moving again. He hit an oopsie. He be chilling. He be chill he just he just sent her smoke in a bowl and now he's just chilling out. But um I don't like that they Oh hey Vaughn, yeah, right. Vaughn is fucking creepy as hell. The worst bit is it's sold as a solution to people with body image issues, i.e. too fat or too skinny, or to take care of a bratty child or troublemaker. Yeah. Uh it's very it's a very bad implication to have that kind of program. You really don't want people, like, becoming animatronics or becoming robots of some sort in order to escape their own, like, trauma or to cause punishment for children they do not like. Indeed scary. Very, very scary. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. Uh, so cold. Oh, sleeping bags that look like shit. Of course you'd have shitty sleeping bags. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. Backtrack a little bit. Didn't the last episode have a sleepover with four people in sleeping bags? I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe not. I might be just being a uh, ADHD brain. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? You're just overlooking. I mean, I've gone to many. I've had many jobs where they give you keys to shit and never tell you what that's to. It. It's not uncommon. A lot of the time, it can probably just be an oversight or terrible, you know, training in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly. It has to be for something else. I mean, it, they wouldn't give it to you if you had no use. They just probably overlooked telling you what that use is. Maybe, but we're uh, running out of time. We should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello. This will probably be the last party today. Before we leave. So yeah. Bad news. Oh hi. The programming page was I mean, he's probably yeah. in the best state. It looks like, except you know, his shirt is ripped off here. But he he doesn't look as bad as the rest of the animatronics, honestly. Fix his mustachio though. A lot of inconvenience. Oh hi, Mark. The new type to restore the robot, some damaged parts in the end of the the model made it impossible to add the new features, and let's not forget I guess it's showing a, n these little screenshots are showing us them fixing things, I'm guessing? That we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and better deadline. As Hillary said, we begged the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan, but for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the, uh, uh, you want to keep the lights on? Slap into this Robo Iron Maiden heart and I, I step into this Robo Iron Maiden and it will fix it. AKA Canadian Healthcare yourself to keep the lights on. The robot produces power for those it fixes. Interesting. Location project. And log. Hey guys, this is Ashley. I use my camera because I am planning to buy where this key leads to. I'm sure whatever this key hides could save the project. I was sure this one she has once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. 
My door has a screen door in front of it, and my cat got between the door and the screen door and started to climb. Yeah, cats do that. They are they are extremely intelligent, but extremely fucking stupid, and it's really funny. I have dogs though, so my husband is very allergic to cats. So I, I had two dogs, and it, they're huskies, so I know the dumb shit they get into too. Huskies are probably the derpiest breed of dog ever, but they are also highly fucking intelligent. It's a paradox. It took me a while, but I back realized doors. the key leads to this door. They have a back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Hmm. Uh, gonna... You probably shouldn't be going out on your own. That's probably the worst thing you can do with animatronics that probably could rip your head off of your shoulders. It's probably not very smart if I'm going to be perfectly frank with you. Sure, I that again, a lot of these people are not very bright. I don't think I have enough time, so I'll just try and peek around the doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across Classic exploring motto. What's behind door number one? Across this door, which uh, which is open. Scrap Pat stuff. Here. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, never split the party. Unused animatronics, I guess. I won't go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and. Uh, uh -huh. room number 26 or 27 i i think um as you can see here she sounds as comfortable about this as i would be not at all i would be freaking out i would be shitting and pissing myself and pissing and shitting myself from reverse i would be freaked out because this place looks like it's covered in dry blood and it's disgusting and I want nothing to do with it. I'd be like, bye. Fair head. Nothing I interested in to be on. <laughs> oh, uh, hi. Uh, very, very well, creepy. This is um, bizarre. Uh, I can't really tell this buddy is a robot. Or uh, bizarre is putting it lightly. <laughs> bizarre is putting it very fucking lightly. Puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. Wait, what? Hold on. Do do do. Oof. Uh, hi, Pennywise. Hi, Pennywise. Ha, ha, how are you? Have you seen any good arachnids lately? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Don't look at the light. We don't all float down here. This is the last door. I am. I've never seen this clown thing before. Like, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. Uh, I wouldn't either. I would have already shut the door and run away. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a closer. Um, I, found I cast fireball. Oh, I rolled a nat one. Oof. Put that D20 in the fucking chair with the dunce cap. D20 in the dunce cap. This. Uh, so... 6, 11, 1970, I'm assuming... I can't tell. It's too scribbled out. I'm pretty Close sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have June to be brave to try and see what this whole thing is. Might be 74. I don't really know why it's due to set player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used from. I thought you were gonna get close to it, you dum dum. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. But but by all means, get yourself frickin' strangled by Pennywise the Clown in animatronic form. Yeah. Totally need to listen to that. You wanna play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out. Sultana. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the uh, first part of your username. 
but welcome. You're a vehicle man. We've got creepy clowns on the screen. Yeah. And I am going to have... Charles. Rosemary. Sophie. Uh, the fuck? Have alerted the horde. They're going to get us. You have clicked the wrong button. Now we're all going to fucking die. The cat got murdered because it got curious. Gone. Gone. Horrible agony. Because you decided that you wanted to explore, huh? Please don't. Please don't. Please no. Please stop. Oh, that's not nightmarish at all. That's not fucking terrifying on any level. Nope. That is, um, that's totally normal. That's totally not scary. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Somebody, yeah, definitely fucking died. Now she's beautiful, right? Whoa, what did that say? What did that say? What did that say? They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early, but she was in the da back doors, screaming as much as she could, but no one heard the screams. The following days, the caretakers would complain about an awful smell coming from the back doors. The company decided to shut down the facility until new advice. The relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley is still there, but she's scre not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to, and now she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's over and over and over and over again. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Mmm. And what did that say there? See, I've got- I've become accustomed. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but that might be a YouTube link. To something. And I think that's the next thing. Alright, that's- we got two more. They're- um, they're both a lot shorter. Um, so this is Lucky You. It's unlisted. I'm assuming it might be what was linked at the back end of that. Um, the story of Bond's Burgers goes back to 1958, where two college students had the same idea of animated performers. The names were Jack Walton and Felix Kranken. There we go. YouTube going to shut up. No, spoil anything. Yep, I've heard this is pretty fucked up. Uh, it took them 16 years to actually execute this concept, but that time, Kranken... By that time, Kranken and Walton had built their own families. Felix married a beautiful lady, and Walton was not only a great husband, but also a happy father of three beautiful children. Yeah, and things are going to get more interesting for sure. Bonds Burgers, come join the party. How about I don't live for a little bit longer? That would that probably would be smart. Opening day, 28th of June, 1974. Oh, I wonder what happens. Don't look as grimy. Look pretty normal. Or as normal as they can be. First birthday party, two days later. Lots of kids with really bad bowl cuts. Last shows before closure, the 10th of july to the 19th of july so 19 july is is where big shit went down i guess that that's fucking scary why would kids want to be around that thank you for the smiles it was open for less than a month hey all about ripley's ass never got a notification for the scream ha <laughs> it's all good man it happens but uh we've got a couple more vi got this video and then another video and we will be done so if you missed most of the stream, you can go back and watch it. It's pretty fun, I think. I think I'm entertaining. Yes, and Ripley's ass. Quite great. Okay. Cool. Somebody's... Somebody's molding because I... They, they said that Ripley's ass was not nice. Uh, and I was like, okay... 
you don't like it cool anything else and they got all butt hurt and now they are they are crying and molding and coping and seething it's really funny actually Uh, so, October 31st, he's looking at us, and he's waving. Oh, lordy. So, here's the storage facility. So, shit goes down in the 20th, or 19th or 20th of July, and then everything gets closed down, and by mid-December... Everything is moved to the bunker. Hmm. Okay. And then they're there for God knows how long. Yep. Thrown in there to be all alone. Cause they're all alone. Okay, so the 11th. What happened on the 11th of June? Oh shit, you hi. You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answer yeah, no, I'm fucking terrified. What do you mean? I am s terrified. This will be given eventually, but don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning. For I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but they're... He's not sorry. <laughs> He's not sorry. He he wanted to do this. He's fucking evil. He killing people. There's nothing Two he that we do. know of so far. Remember that. Well, three. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Okay, so we're back to guy running away, I'm assuming. Uh, safety in pills, Sophie? So, I'm assuming Sophie is one of his kids? Because I know that Walton has three kids. We already know the wife is dead and putting the fucking sheep. So, who's giving Sophie pills? Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills. Sophie. Safety and pills. Ah! Sophie. Safety and pills. Sophie. Ah! Safety and pills. Sophie. Safety and Oh, that's a new animatronic, but I'm assuming that the pills make her forget. Pills. Sophie. Safety and pills. Sophie. So, yep, Sophie Walton. We saw picture we saw this pill bottle on um the side of the TV during that cartoon. So Sophie is involved in this somehow. Safety of pills, Sophie. Safety of Oh, can't you see? Um, what did that say? I made them beautiful. I don't know how. I didn't even mean to. But I did. They try to talk to us through analog. They will be heard. This is their cry for help. Besides, they want us to know what happened that year. But we must be patient. So, it's if I'm not mistaken from what I'm getting from this, is that um, something happened towards the end of the Bob's Burgers run, which was like a month, and then Mr. Walton goes missing. And Jack Walton, basically, Mr. Walton, Jack Walton goes missing. And if I remember correctly, there's something going on with Felix Kranken uh, and a cover-up. And now these animatronics and the souls within these animatronics are trying to reach out to tell us, the viewers, what happened 
that caused all this. Uh, what did I miss? They are filled with life. Oh, obviously. They dance to the music. They laugh and sing along. So hard to read. They're perfect. I think mean, nothing's perfect. You got to admit that song is good. It is. They are beautiful. And it depends on your uh, definition of beautiful. They will see you soon, Sophie. That's the end of it. One more. We've got commercial. This is a very short one. And once we're done with this, we will call it for the day. We'll be back next weekend to go over more of this. Fun adventure and games composed by Sweet Tuesday. Thanks to Bravi and Sagan Hawks for providing voices, and thank you, 10k subscribers. So, there's gonna be something in this, pretty sure. <coughs> Whoa, what was that? Funny Smiles game. So, so, Bonds Burgers. It's a little thingy from that. Funny Smiles Games presents... Funny Smiles Games presents a revolutionary game in the arcade industry, perfect for every kid and adult alike. I think this is where they start bringing in the... I think the next one is where we start seeing the game that's being referenced here. This is a, a teaser to that. Today, Bunny Smiles Inc. takes another step into the future with Bunny Farm. That's right. Play your favorite characters in a fun and exciting adventure. Solve puzzles, enjoy parties, and most importantly, have fun. Bunny Farms is the most futuristic arcade game. With is the it? It doesn't look very futuristic. Maybe it is for that time period. Maybe it is for that time period. I gotta send this to my husband. But uh, it doesn't look very futuristic to me. Technology and features such as advanced graphics, advanced file graphics. saving system, okay. voice acting, and much, much more. Bunny Farm is the ideal game for everyone, and soon a Bunny Farm machine could be your nearest arcade. I'm pretty sure that there isn't very many of these, and it's in storage right now. The only one probably is in that storage place, but uh, I could be wrong. Bunny Farm, coming soon at local arcades in Brighton. Come and play with us. It'll be lots of fun, 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 lots of fun. Uh, yeah, somebody's somebody's lost in that uh that game apparently because we're seeing that. Oh, how fun! Ha ha ha. Hilarious. I'm assuming that's maybe Sophie. I wonder what will happen. Uh, nothing good, probably. <laughs> Voice acting, Sinistar would be like, know your location. <laughs> Walton Files 3. Yep, Walton Files 3 is where we see the uh, bunny farm stuff. And there's a lot to go on in that. That'll be interesting for sure. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, that is it for today. Um, I will be back next weekend with this. Uh, Tuesday is back to form with 2K24 and the CAC. For those of you that are newer here, I do play games, mostly horror games. Uh, however, I do take a tiny break from the horror games when WWE 2K24 came out or when the 2k games for wwe come out just to play a uh gender bent version of the character i use in my youtube channel which is abraxa and abraxas so if you want to see me fuck around and play games uh, we won't finish it up next weekend but we are coming back to it for another one of the video we're probably gonna have three streams to cover everything in uh in total that's out right now um but the second stream will be next weekend and then after that, we have Knox. So it'll be a hot minute before we finish everything up. And until then, I will see you next time. Sweet nightmares. Fight me one time. Fight me twice. Oh, ah. Mm, that's rather nice. Frankenstein.
Love. 